practice and you'll be good. Hi guys, uh, I am Giorgio Gaetani, uh, aka Bad Calligraphy, and in this video I will try to give you some tips for left-handed calligraphy. So let's begin saying that when I first started doing calligraphy, I was like a little bit scared uh, because, you know, uh, I didn't know how to write as a left-handed. Uh, but I practice. I began in practicing with two uh, normal big pen uh, stick together. So. Uh, I had no problems with the ink um, and I practiced like in the, I will call it the normal way but as a left hander uh, as a left handed person so uh, from but from the bottom to the top then I bought the pilot parallel pen and I was like whoa there's a lot of ink <laughs> Uh, going out of the pen, and I was making a mess, you know, with the uh, with, uh, with the hand. It was always with ink in my hands. Um, but I, I, I still practiced with in the normal way. Uh, then I changed. Uh, I tried uh, with a, a paper at 90, 90 degrees. It was a little better, but then I thought, why, why don't try writing a really literally upside down? And so I began, I began practicing upside down. That's what that was a lot better, uh, especially for the ink, uh, because I didn't have have to worry about it. I, I still practice in the normal way because if you have to write on walls for example you can't really write upside down. It's, <laughs> it's quite difficult. Um, but for works like on paper I, I go for upside down writing because I'm faster and I think the results are not so bad. At big at the beginning, I was struggling with the with the shapes of the letters because you know you got to train your eyes to the shape to the form of the letter. I find it you know a little bit difficult at the beginning because especially for uh, not not so not so difficult for lower cases lower case letters but most of all for uppercase letters they're bigger i don't know there's some they have something that i i couldn't understand uh, on the form especially with d letter d uppercase it was really really difficult for me to understand it but with a little bit of practice uh, at the beginning i practiced like from 8 hours to 15 hours per day when I first began now I practice 8 hours when I have to learn a new style I would like I, I got to improve my gothic but I would like to to learn other styles now I'm going for copper plate uh, but it's, it's another thing copper plate upside down is really difficult <laughs> to learn but you can try. Uh, apart from the ink, when I write the normal way, I have to wait for the ink to dry for every letters because I, I, I can't take the, just the paper and you know move it in a certain angle. I'm not able to do that. I have to take my uh, paper just straight 
in front of my eyes so uh, in a normal way I'm really really slow while riding maybe I, I, I have some videos on my on my Instagram page I don't know but I should have some well I, I when I ride upside down now I can see about if I'm doing go uh, if I'm doing wrong if I'm doing good but at the beginning I had always to look at it before okay I was I will I was writing one one letter per time and you know I had to look at it and say oh that, that's okay or that's pretty crap and then do it again do it again and so at the beginning I practice really really a lot and that's it you you gotta have to practice the good things for uh, the good thing for left-handed I think is we can write in any in, in every position okay uh, maybe also right-handed can do that but I don't know upside down not upside down <laughs> in the normal way 90 degrees uh, with the paper at 90 degrees we can write in so many ways um, and you can practice every ways and uh, maybe you, you can find the good one for you but apart from writing upside down but it's easier maybe for us but you have to practice also in the normal way because if you are asked for something bigger uh, in a wall you can obviously not turn your wall <laughs> but <laughs> you could turn yourself but it's not the easy this way this is ways to learn also in the normal way um, and it can be done no problems from bottom to the top uh, writing bottom to the top uh, every letters another thing is uh, you know I, I first two stick pens together then I passed to the pilot parallel pen and then I went for deep pens with deep pens it's uh, uh, I find it another world okay uh, it's great parallel pens are great incredibly great but deep pens they are uh, absolutely amazing uh, writing with deep pens is totally different um, at the beginning you struggle with you know the nibs and things but then you you understand that the pens are the best to write with here I'm doing the X I like the X uh, at the beginning I was struggling with the X with the S with the D and I was like oh, I, I will never make it then <laughs> I understand the shape because I see it uh, down uh, upside down but it's just practice really and that's it uh, I mean main problems for me was ink that uh, with the hand uh, with your hands you know and uh, uh, shapes form of the letters but it can be uh, it can be done with practice you have to practice a lot doing lots of tries uh, before you get your letters done but it's not as difficult as, if, as you may think so just write uh, practice and you'll be good thanks for watching I hope this video will help somebody and um, see you next time bye bye